Here's a long throw for Miles Fly. Makes the catch. 20, 15, 10. Touchdown, Bulldog. You got to love it. <laughs> if you ask most of the national media, they wouldn't know what state Louisiana Tech was in, probably. <laughs> The Bulldogs put themselves on the college football map with a performance that featured plenty of fireworks. But in the end, TCU exploded for 14 fourth quarter points, which diffused Tech's upset bid. Into this game, everybody counted us out. Everybody disrespected us and coming into the game talking about we're going to get beat 45 to 10, 42 to 0, anything like that. We're just trying to show everybody that we're not a program to be pushed up. We're a program to be reckoned with. It was a rough loss for us, but I mean, in the end, it helped our program. You know, I mean, we wouldn't have made it this far without the guys that are on this team right now. And, you know, this, this the future of this program is it's it's going to be great, and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what it's, what's got to offer. Almost like a jump start to next year, and shows like what our potential is and what we can do. Two costly turnovers and a missed field goal in the first half by Louisiana Tech allowed TCU to hang around. When you play a good football team like TCU, and um, you know you have as many opportunities to distance yourself from them as we had in the first half. You know, that, that's going to come back and bite you. I felt like we had the momentum, and, and um, I felt like we had the best of them in the first half. And uh, against good teams, you kind of can't la be lackadaisical against them. In San Diego, I'm Aaron Dietrich for CST Tonight.